Richard Orndorff. I'm Sharon Orndorff. Um, I'm from Wyandotte, Michigan, and our hall number is 1371. Uh, basically, we started out going to a camper show and looked at some of the trailers that were out there and we said, oh, these are not quality. Um, and so we kind of did some online research hoping that we would find a module that was pretty much a maintenance-free uh, four-season style camper. Uh, we dealt with Phil. Um, and upon finding you folks online, we made the, well, we actually filled out an online questionnaire. Um, from there, we were asked whether or not we wanted a phone conversation, and within 15, 20 minutes, Phil had given us a call. Um, and he was Johnny on the spot and very professional, um, giving us some ins and outs of what we were possibly looking for, and, um, at that point, then he also hooked us up with a customer in the Michigan area so that we were able to go to another owner's site and tour their camper. Um, and then from there, we got back in touch with Phil. And he's remarkable. Matter of fact, everybody, it, we're in the service business and that's what we do for a living is service and it's everybody we've dealt with here is remarkable. Remarkable, that's all I can say about it. They're yeah, they're right on, on spot, people. they answer questions, they answer phone calls, uh, which is to me grossly important. Well, that's I said, there's a funny thing, until, until we drove across in a camper van, from our daughter lives in California, until we drove across and came back, we weren't sure what we wanted to do, but after doing that trip, we just had a ball. We just had fun going for it. We, we make no, I'm not a planner, so we plan nothing. I'll, I'll get in this thing tomorrow and go, hmm, let's go that way. And then we'll find a campground and it's, it's we'll I, yeah, we don't have a lot of experience in camping, which has been kind of nice in this journey because I w would have been very disappointed if I bought other campers. We've never bought a camper and, until we bought this, one of these. Outdoor activities, we'll walk, we'll, walk. we'll ride bikes. Um, we have some kayaks that have never hit the water yet, so. <laughs> do a lot of walking. Um, but we'll do a lot of walking and sightseeing, so that's kind of where we're at. We're retirees and ready for a little bit of relaxation, but want to stay healthy. Life is short. <laughs> and our daughter. Right. I mean, that's probably the main reason we are talking about traveling this way is that we're gonna spend a lot of time going back from Michigan. We have a son in Michigan and a daughter in California and a grandson in California and my son-in-law. And it's, that was a big part of it. So until we made one trip across the United States, we weren't sure that we wanted to do this, but after doing it, we just, we found, a, we found it was a ball. It was just fun. And I think economically, it'll be better for us with the trailer versus trying to do an Airbnb or to fly, fly to California and then rent a car and then rent a site to stay at for one or two months. I mean, we don't want to just go for a week. We want to go and experience some of their life. Well, I build things for a living. So, I mean, that's what I do. And I, uh, it's challenging for me to like, put into words what I would say, but I mean, after looking at every other, and never owning a camper, so this is the first experience of mine with this, I can't believe what people put together and think that it's gonna drive down the road and stay together, because particle board and drywall screws does not work on something that moves. These, I, I've just, across the board, I'd never saw anything built like this other than a boat. And that's how I describe it to my friends. I said, if you were gonna go buy a 40 foot yacht, that's what these are. These are boats that they put on an aluminum trailer and they're just well built, period. There's not particle board and drywall screws and glue and staples in it. It sells itself if, some, if you make it, if you navigate through all the everything and find Oliver, because that was the first thing I told her, we looked at the Airstream and I said, Airstream cannot be the only company in the universe that makes a 
camper that's good. Mm -hmm. And it took a while to actually come up with Oliver or, and find it. And then once we did, I mean, she showed it to me and it, was, it just sells itself. Yeah, they're just clean. They're modern, but have their own beauty. Um, and I needed something that was gonna keep me warm and I would not go and sit in a tin can <laughs> and hope that I would stay warm at night. Um, so, I mean, that's a big factor for us too. I just feel like there's not a lot of nooks and crannies in this that can accumulate a lot of dust or dirt, dirt and... Um, hidden mold. Right, hidden mold. I just feel like this is something that's going to last a lifetime and our daughter has already requested it <laughs> when we are done that we pass it on to her. So it's going to be generational. <laughs> I mean, it's a challenging thing when you start looking at campers and especially me being in the building trade. I looked at the, the 40 and, I, and me being cheap. I looked at the 30 and $40,000 campers and said, Sharon, whatever's in them, I can buy one of these and I'll just take it all apart and I'll fix it. I'll make it better. And that's, it, it, that was one way we looked at it. And then when we, then I finally got over the edge and looked at everything that they put into these, the stainless steel hinges and everything, it was just, it, there was, it was, there was no question, there was no comparison between the campers we looked at and these, none. I, I it was hands just, there was no question at the end of it. If you want something that's gonna last you and it's gonna be quality and you're gonna stay warm in it. I, this is it. I think this is it. It's my opinion, and I don't work for Oliver. <laughs> and everybody we've met, too. And, yeah, it, it's, it, and I will truly say that it, it's the, the care that we've been treated with sends it over the edge. That's the fact that you guys got a good product is one thing, but the fact that you, you guys are very nice to deal with, too, right from the beginning. <laughs>